Right, so Tevi Troy now, the former HHS Deputy Secretary, uh, on something else the president's been talking about, that he will not sign this uh, measure uh, or uh, support it on the part of uh, Republicans and Democrats, at least forged by, by a Republican and a Democrat, uh, that would, would shore up uh, these exchanges and more to the point, the insurance companies for a couple of years to help fund those who can't afford health insurance for at least the next couple of years. Uh, Tevi, what do you think of that? Because some had interpreted that as a reversal on the part of the president, that it looked like he was signing on to it. Now not. It seems to be dead now. What do you think? Uh, I don't think it's uh, fully dead yet. You know, they talk about dead and dead dead. So uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, maybe it could be revived by the uh, growth fairy that uh, Senator Wyden was talking about. But what, what I really think is that uh, this is all part of a negotiating ploy, that they're trying to get as much leverage they can, and also a framing device. So the president said he was against an insurer bailout. He wants to make sure that when they put together a package that does include these CSR, these cost-sharing reductions, the, the, the subsidies for the insurance companies, that it can't be framed as a bailout for insurance companies. But it would be, wouldn't it? I mean, I know you, it's all in the terming of the and I know CSRs are not deemed to be bailout funds, but they are allowing insurance companies to provide coverage that they wouldn't be able to provide without that funding. Well, yeah, and that is how they would frame it. These are funds that are allowing them to provide this coverage, but it's not a bailout per se. But you're right, Neil, to, to uh, hone in on this because it is often a question of rhetoric. So I think that we have the basic parameters of a deal, but it's the specifics that are going to be hammered out in this back and forth over the next couple of days. You know, Tevi, I've been noticing maybe in my little wonky world, I follow these insurance stocks, and they were hit hard when the president was first bashing them. Um, and then sort of, uh, you know, came back a little bit when it looked like the president might sign on to a deal that would temporarily continue this, this funding. Um, but it, they, th their fortunes seem to rise and fall based on that, should they? Or is it a given that uh, Democrats and Republicans just don't have the, 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 the means to back away from that? You know, Neil, if you had purchased some kind of index funds that just did health insurers on the day before the Affordable Care Act was passed back in 2010, you would have done great. Absolutely. So the insurers know how to make money given what the rules are. The problem is we don't really know what the rules are, and then sometimes you might say, here's a rule that you get these cost-sharing reductions, and then the government is now saying we're taking it away. So the lack of certainty is often a problem. But I think once the rules are figured out, the insurance companies are, no, are good at knowing how to deal with it once that exists. Teddy, do you know if the president left these guys at the altar? I mean, that he apparently had originally told Lamar Alexander, the Tennessee Republican, on this, yeah, I like what you're doing here. He cooked this up with Patty Murray of Washington State and then backed away. Do you know whether he pulled a 180 or, or no? I, I don't know for sure, and it's it's often hard to predict, but I think there are countervailing forces. There are some saying yeah. that uh, the, this is the only way to get a bipartisan deal, and you can get a, a, a large percentage, though not all the Republicans on something like this. And there are others that are saying, if you want repeal, and you've been talking about repeal, it's got to be repeal only. So yeah, you can't uh, somewhere be a between, you're, you're, on it, you're yeah. betwixt and between. Gotcha. Tevi, great read of things. The former HHS Deputy Secretary, Tevi Troy.